Okay, just had a really good workout at 24 Hour Fitness. So, um, I want to make a video tonight because I feel like I'm energetic enough to do so. So the first thing I want to do is I want to say hi to my good buddy, Javier Guillende. And I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but all I know is this guy has supported me for a long time now on my YouTube channels, <clears throat> on my YouTube channel. And usually he makes a post or comment almost before I get the, the, uh, the video up. I mean, it gets processed. He's already got a comment up. So I just want to say thank you. Man, he's the greatest guy in the world. Uh, he gives me a lot of love on YouTube, and I really appreciate it. Um, the second thing I want to say is that my YouTube channel, because of the new YouTube standards as far as 4,000 hours of watched and um, 1,000 subscribers, I will no longer monetize any of my videos. Not because I'm mad at YouTube, and not because I don't meet those standards, because um, at times I have had, uh, I think, well over 2,000, close to 3,000 subscribers. I don't always maintain that level, but I usually keep above 1,000. <clears> but I'm not going to monetize the video anymore because I don't want to play the YouTube game. I don't want to do the thing where you don't say or the things you think, you know, say the things you want to say because you're, you think YouTube's going to uh, demonetize your video. I mean, so many people play that game, and I feel bad for those people that, I mean, they're doing well on YouTube, but they are under constant pressure not to piss YouTube off, not to say things that are, that, 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 uh, are not advertiser-friendly. And, and my channel never has been, nor ever will be, advertiser-friendly. It just isn't. I, I'm not a platform, I'm not a platform, I'm not a channel that people want to, should <clears throat> advertise on. I don't want to be a channel people. I don't want... The monetization from YouTube and I'm not going to go after it and I'm not going to play that YouTube game anymore I'm just not gonna do it so from now on I will never monetize a video again um, and um, I won't make any any and, and I won't hold back on my videos anymore either I won't change a title because I think YouTube's gonna be upset with me I won't say certain things because YouTube's gonna be upset with me I'm just not gonna care anymore I mean I'm mean, I'm sure I'm, I'm not gonna make uh, videos that I know that are going to cause people great uh, great problems, but I'm not going to sit here anymore and, you know, not say things that I want to say or do things I want to do or be fearful that YouTube's going to come down on me for a little bit of monetization money, of which, you know, is very small anyway. If you're living on monetization money on YouTube, you better be having some pretty serious numbers. Like I say, in the millions and millions, maybe half a million subscribers. And of course, in the millions and millions and millions and millions of views. So, neither one of those are probably ever going to be me. I think that <clears throat> YouTube appeals to a certain audience. Um, probably doesn't really fit who I am. I'm not a skit guy. I'm not a funny guy. I'm not somebody that wants to put up a studio and wants to have the big microphone and, you know, do the real, um, I don't know what you'd call it, the real... Um, <clears throat> You know the real professional uh, uh, channel. I don't want to do the professional channel. First, first of all, I just I don't want to put that much effort into it because I'm more about what I want to say, not more about the way I say it in the in the in, in, in the in the background and you know the expensive microphone and all that other stuff. It's just you know I'm not a creative kind of person like that. I didn't. I am not somebody that when I was younger just wanted to you know like a lot of people that are really big on YouTube. Either they were gamers or they just had this this this. Uh, this innate want to make something, put something on video. I've just never been like that. So anyway, I'm going to free myself of all that. Say what I say, what I want to say and do what I want to do. And probably post more videos because it's kind of liberating. Not to have to worry about the title you make and not have to worry about what you say. Not have to worry about any other stuff. I mean, about a year ago, I made a video about Donald Trump. Because he was going on about, they were going on about, I think it was uh, Cruz was going on about his hand size. And of course, Trump had to relate it to the size of his penis. And I made a video about that, and YouTube gave me a community strike. I mean, the President of the United States was talking about his penis size. And when I talked about it, it was a community strike. When Trump talked about it, you know, it was, everybody talked about it, and Trump could say it all day long, nobody would do anything about it. So there's, there's this standard where, you know, <clears throat> The stuff that's out in the media is sometimes you can't even talk about it because 
YouTube finds it offensive. I don't know if YouTube finds it so offensive, but the, but the advertisers may find it offensive. So you can't talk about it. So I got a community strike. <clears throat> so what happens is you have to go three months without having anything else happen. So I was real careful for three months and didn't want anything else happen to my channel. And, you know, then a couple other times I got YouTube. Uh, um, they did some other stuff to me, too, because of some of the stuff I said on my YouTube channel. I've never been YouTube. I've never had YouTube really happy with me. Uh, YouTube has always been... Um, I've never really been, I mean, if you know anything about YouTube, you know that <clears throat> the way you get views and the way you get subscribers is YouTube has to like your content. And the way YouTube like the content, you like your content, you have to be really, what would I say, very vanilla about your content. You can't be, you know, too, unless you're, unless you're big. If you're really big, then you can say kind of stuff that, uh, may be controversial. But if you're not big, if you're just a small person like me, you gotta be pretty careful about what you say. And YouTube can certainly, you know, how your, how your channel is going to get views and subscribers is if it, if it gets seen by people. So when somebody's looking for a certain, uh, a certain uh, you know, they're, they're looking for something in news or something like that. And if they see your video off to the side, they're going to click on it. A lot of times when you see the trending videos, they don't even have that many views. But they're trending because YouTube likes them. And because YouTube gives them, gives them, uh, gives them uh, um, visibility. So if YouTube doesn't like you, they don't give you visibility, and that's all it is. I mean, YouTube's got to really like you, and that's, I mean, like I say, it's not necessarily YouTube liking you. It's just that they find your content very user-friendly. Oh, I mean, not user-friendly, but the users like, I mean, the, the advertisers like it. And then the other thing is that you're big enough to absorb, or you have a large enough audience that, that people want to continue to support you, even if you do say some stuff that's kind of off-color or something that wouldn't necessarily be something everybody loves. So anyway, I'm kind of glad they're putting their, they're giving up on this stuff. I mean, you got to realize someday who you are, what you're doing. And uh, that's what it is. That's what it is. I'm no longer going to worry about what YouTube thinks of me. And hopefully YouTube just lets me post videos and doesn't really care what I say either. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.